I have seen this one a million times before, okay? But this time, something, I don't know, I clicked it. Tell me why at the top it said Facetune in the title. I have always have been insecure about my trapezius muscle and, you know, if she wants to not have one. So I photoshopped True's face onto Stormy's body. I don't photoshop any photos that I post of myself. I really just can't stand the people that do. But my incisions are ooh, under there. I have a tiny bit of swelling, not much. Dr. Daniel, you know I trust you and I love you, but this is over the top unbelievable. What does Kim Kardashian actually look like? We have no clue because all she does is Photoshop her photos. Now Kim has been caught Photoshopping photos and lying about her appearance pretty much since social media was invented. In August 2022, Kim promoted her collaboration with Beats by Dre with photos and videos of herself enjoying some pool time, but an eagle-eyed TikTok user noticed that the reality star appeared to edit out her trapezius muscles. Kim K is no notorious for photoshopping out her traps. The user Caroline began in the video. Then in January 2022, Kim posted pictures from her Skim swim collection photo shoot, only for fans to immediately notice that her leg appeared warped and featured a curve behind her knee. Now fans again alleged that something was off when Kim posted a poolside photo wearing a new Skim set in April 2022. You forgot to leave in your belly button, one follower wrote, with another asking, where on earth is your belly button? Now Kim denied the accusations by sharing a short video from the photo shoot to her Instagram story, writing, come on guys, seriously, this is so dumb, claiming I photoshopped out my belly button. She then urged fans to head over to Skims to buy some high-waisted underwear to conceal that saggy belly button like she did. Kim is the queen of photoshopping her pictures, so what she really looks like, no one knows. Things got weird in 2021 when it was revealed that Madonna did one of the most weirdest Photoshop things ever. To promote her album Rebel Heart in 2015, she literally photoshopped her face onto another girl's body. Amelia Goldie says that Madonna's face was photoshopped onto her body and used to promote the singer's Rebel Heart album on Instagram. Now the photo of Madonna, which was originally posted to Instagram on May 1st, 2015, is still online and shows the singer sitting in bed. Now the image is captured I look cool. And Amelia called Madonna out, but never got answers or any acknowledgement. She told BuzzFeed that she initially thought it was a joke when she saw Madonna's head on her body. She said, then I realized it wasn't because it was posted on her official account. I think if you're gonna play somebody else's body off as your own, they deserve to be mentioned. But no hard feelings. Now this is just such a strange thing to do, and Madonna has never addressed it. Britney Spears loves using Instagram. I mean, she posts all the time but she also loves her Photoshop. Britney has been caught photoshopping her pictures multiple times. In March 2016, Britney posted a photo of her laying by her pool in her swimsuit and captioned the pic, just chilling. Now fans were quick to notice that her back arch looks like it was edited to look higher as the gap was blue when it should have been tan to match the color of the tiles under her. These days though, you can see how she's warping her waist. She posted a photo wearing a plaid pleated skirt and a white cropped shirt, reminiscent of the iconic outfit she wore in her music video one more time. Her followers though were more concerned with the warped bathroom drawers behind her. Commenting on the picture, one person wrote, not trying to be mean, but you can obviously tell you photoshopped your waist. Now Khloe Kardashian has had two major photoshop fails that prove that she changes her looks in pictures. Now the first incident happened when a photo of Khloe in a bikini was posted on Instagram by her grandmother. Now it's a normal photo and she looks stunning, except she's not photoshopped. In the wake of the snap going viral, the Kardashians then called in a crisis management team to try and completely remove the image from the internet. A source close to the Kardashians said, Chloe freaked out as her viral unedited photo was posted by mistake. Now she was freaking out and within minutes, the photo already began circling everywhere, the source said. Now the thing is though, people were praising the photo because there was no Photoshop. In 2020, Chloe posted a photo that looked nothing like her, but eagle-eyed fans realized that photo was taken the same day she filmed Keeping Up with the Kardashians, and the differences are shocking. Fans called her out for this, but rather than mock her, many
Whitney have praised Chloe for the way she looks in the original shot, saying there was no need to edit her photos. I just need to know what was going through Chloe's mind at the time because wow. As Kris Jenner has gotten older, she's moved more towards using Photoshop, where she's most likely getting editing tips from her kids. Now she released a cookbook in 2014 and Gordon Ramsay showed up to congratulate her. They took a photo and Gordon posted it on his Instagram. Now it was normal, it was cute. But then 6 days later, Chris posted a similar photo of the two of them together. Now there was a huge difference though with her post, as Chris photoshopped the crap out of herself and Gordon. Their skin was obviously airbrushed and completely smooth, and it looked so fake it was honestly laughable, and I truly wonder if Gordon approved. In December of 2020, Jennifer Lopez made headlines when she insisted that the secret to her flawless complexion is olive oil. Now the star spoke out ahead of the launch of her JLo Beauty skincare range, it's my secret I've used over the years because it really does work. She then went on to encourage people to be vigilant with sunscreen, explaining one of the big things I would encourage everyone to do from the time they're 15 years old, even younger, is to wear sunscreen every day. But an eagle eyed fan may have spotted one more way that Jennifer maintains her super smooth and glowing skin in videos and photos. It's Filters. TikTok user at Need the Deeds exposed the trick when they uploaded a clip from one of Jennifer's social media posts from February 2023, which highlighted the moment an apparent filter glitched. Now, in the footage, Jennifer looks absolutely flawless as she talks about going to the gym, but sure enough, at one point she leans closer to the camera and her skin looks much more relatable. Now, Jen quickly readjusts herself, making the glitch a blink and you miss it moment, but viewers still found the filter slip up hilarious. Now, in fact, Jen looks so good good that people shared their sadness that she even felt a need to alter her appearance online. Now regardless, if you're going to use video filters, just make sure they work correctly. Now I love my girl Tana Mojo, but it's no secret that she loves using Facetune. I mean she's even admitted that she's gone a little too far, which yeah, because some pictures of the influencer look nothing like her. Now one of her biggest photoshop fails happened in 2019 though. She walked the red carpet at the People's Choice Awards where she was nominated for social star of 2019. Following the event, she shared Getty images of herself from the night to her Instagram. However, shortly after uploading the photos, Tana's versions of the photograph was shared on Reddit's Instagram reality subreddit alongside the actual photograph, where people pointed out the numerous edits that she made. When comparing the photos, Tana changed the shape of her face. Now she also slimmed down her nose, thinned out her arm, altered the saturation and the colors of the photo, and changed the shape and darkness of her eyebrows. Now, are we really that shocked? I mean, she did say in the past that she only reposts Facetune pics. As she said in 2018, people keep asking, so my skincare routine, it's Facetune, that's it. Now, although Mariah Carey is called the queen of Christmas, she's most definitely not the queen of Photoshop. In November of 2016, Mariah posted a photo to celebrate Thanksgiving. It was a photo of herself holding a pie and a can of whipped cream. Now, a few eagle-eyed followers noticed something was off though, like the distorted mirror up by her shoulder and the warped cabinet by her right knee. People quickly started calling Mariah out in the comments, pointing out these telltale clues and accusing her of some photoshop editing. Now other fans though were confused saying they didn't notice the photoshop, but Mariah has been accused of photoshopping her pictures before, so it's no shock that she was found out like this. Now being a model, Miranda Kerr knows she has to look good at all times, and this translates over to her instagram posts. In 2013 when Miranda was in Tokyo, she posted a photo on instagram that had followers accusing her of photoshop. And she only responded to this once after posting a photoshop version of her and other Victoria's Secret models. She reposted the original image and captioned the post, hey guys, here's the original vs image. When I reposted the photo this week to support the girls, I screen grabbed it off the internet when I was working in Japan. I had no idea it was photoshopped, all good intentions. While she addressed that, she has never spoken out about her other allegations of photoshop though. And now we have John May. It appears that John Mayer went crazy with the blurring tool in 2014 because this photo of him doesn't even look real. He looks like a cartoon character. He captioned the pic, so good to see my friend Ricky again, it's been a while. But fans decided to call him out. One fan commented on the selfie, John you look like Sims characters, while another wrote, effing filter to the max. 
Now some people weren't sure if he used the filter as a joke or was serious about it, but regardless, John's face isn't as shiny as that in real life, just an FYI. Starting us off at number 10 is Selena Gomez. Fans were confused when they noticed her Photoshop fail, mainly because it wasn't like the ones we're used to seeing. People are quick to point out objects in pictures that look bent when they would be physically impossible to actually bend that way, like a metal door, for example. So when people saw the metal door curved in her photo, they accused her of Photoshop. The door was right behind her shoulder and her hair, so it seemed strange because no one knew what she was trying to Photoshop. Turns out it actually was not Selena who did the dirty work. Her hairstylist ended up coming forward and said that he used an editing app to try and add more volume to her hair since he posted the photo on his social media. So people forgave Selena because it was not her doing, but it didn't look too good for her hairstylist who just revealed that he has to Photoshop volume on his clients. Up next, number nine, we have Beyonce. It's hard to imagine that the queen herself would feel like she needs to alter her images in any way, but I need to remember that we are all human and we all have insecurities. Even Beyonce, Jocelyn. She's been accused on a few different occasions for some of her Instagram pictures looking tweaked. Like the famous staircase that was magically wavy between her thighs and did not match the shadow against the wall. People gave her the benefit of the doubt with that one, but then raised their eyebrows when they saw another picture that just didn't add up. The singer posted a casual photo of her sitting on a couch, but fans were quick to point out the asymmetrical wine glass and super bent iPhone that was on the table in front of her thigh. For anyone who doesn't know how Facetune works, objects that look bent, it's because you try and drag something, like either you're cinching a waist or you're trying to like drag something in to make the legs smaller. So that's what gives it that wavy effect. It's like you're reshaping. I remember it's called the reshape in Facetune. Fun fact, don't do it. Cruising into number eight, we have Kris Jenner. The momager of the Kardashian and Jenner sisters was caught photoshopping her own pictures, which wasn't totally surprising for a lot of people, no offense. The Kardashians get accused more than anyone, like on planet Earth, for editing their pictures. But Kris photoshopped a picture that was being promoted as an ad, which made the whole thing worse. Now, there is no denying that she looks great for 65 years old, which is why it's such a shame to see her promote a health product and then alter her body in it. She posed in a black sports bra, black leggings, and then accessorized with a flat tummy tee. But no one was looking at the sponsored product. Everyone had eyes on the fact that the wood behind her was just magically curved. Wood does not bend. It's also incredibly blurry around that area of her arm, which only suggests that she tweaked that area. Her caption said, people always ask me how I stay in shape and looking so good. Flat tummy tea is my this year's summer must have and uh, I feel amazing, hashtag ad. A lot of people criticized her for promoting a product of how she stays in shape, but then the image in that product like promotion is altered. If you felt amazing, would you be altering your picture? Moving on to number seven, we have Amanda Holden. The British TV presenter went on vacation and had one of her pictures go viral, but for all the wrong reasons. She is not one too shy about flaunting her body in front of her followers, and honestly, I don't blame her because she is hot. But one of her bikini pictures has gone down in history online for being one of the worst Photoshop fails in social media history. It was in 2016 when she posted a picture of her looking out at the ocean, but the horizon was just all kinds of crazy wonky. It looks like it's been distorted, which kind of then affects the whole picture. The wooden dock that she's standing on is also curved because of it, and the whole thing just does not look right. But no one could figure out what exactly she was photoshopping because of the way the curve goes in the horizon and the dock. It just doesn't make sense. Plus her body is already perfect. But if you guys can figure out or have an idea of what maybe she was photoshopping, let me know because I'm confused, but it doesn't look good. 
In spot number six, we have Zendaya. Now this one wasn't her fault and she deserves so much credit for how she handled a Photoshop fail that was done to her without her permission. She posed for Modelist Magazine back in 2015 and although she was happy for the opportunity, she wasn't thrilled about the results. Zendaya took it upon herself to post a picture of the original photo next to the end result in the magazine and the Photoshop shocked people. They had altered the image so much that she didn't know about it until she saw the magazine. She posted on social media saying, I was shocked when I found my 19 year old hips and torso quite manipulated. These are the things that make women self-conscious that create the unrealistic ideals of beauty that we have. They ended up issuing a public apology as they should and fans applauded Zendaya for being so honest about the Photoshop fail that was definitely unnecessary. Pardon my language, but what the f Halfway through our list at number five is Miranda Kerr. Many people would agree that the Victoria's Secret model has no reason to alter her images online. I mean, her beauty and her body is the reason that she has a career of being a professional model. But she sparked a ton of controversy back in 2012 after she posted a behind the scenes photo at the Victoria's Secret fashion show, but the real version of the photo looked a little different. No one thought anything of her posts until fans found the original original and realized how much smaller her waist and hips were. After receiving a ton of backlash, she spoke up about it and said that she did not know the picture was photoshopped. She said she went online, found the picture and then posted it, but no one believed her. Fans questioned how she wouldn't possibly recognize her own body. But let me know what you guys think. I feel like if I saw a picture of my waist looking smaller and my hips, I would be like, I don't look like that. <laughs> That's not my waist but I also don't look like Miranda Kerr. So rolling to spot number four, we have Oprah Winfrey. Another Photoshop fail that was not the celebrity's fault, but they still took the heat for it. This one was definitely more of a good laugh though than the other ones on our list because it wasn't Oprah's body that was altered to like look thinner. She was just given an extra limb. Oprah landed herself on the cover of Vanity Fair with some other huge celebrities like Reese Witherspoon who was sitting on her lap in the picture. While the cover was iconic, Iconic simply for the people on the cover, there was a massive mistake and Oprah had three hands in the picture. But it gets worse. Depending on what issue you see the picture from, there were some covers that had Reese Witherspoon with three legs. Multiple Photoshop fails in one magazine cover? I feel like an editor lost their job that day. <laughs> Here now, number three, we have Kim Kardashian. Are you really that surprised? Probably not. I'm gonna be honest, there is an entire list of times that her pictures were accused of being photoshopped. So it would take way too long for me to name all of them. So I'll just power through like a few of them. Like the time she posted this mirror picture and fans were quick to point out that her door frame was very bent. Fans are always pointing out ways that her body appears to be altered in her social media posts. But there's also another one that went viral, but this one was completely completely out of her control. In one of her fragrance promos with her sister Kylie Jenner, people got a good laugh at the final edit because Kim had six toes on one of her feet. Obviously, she was not the one who photoshopped an extra toe on herself, but people still criticized her for it as if she was, which is so ridiculous. <laughs> Making her way into the number two spot is Katy Perry, another celebrity who felt victim to some epic magazine Photoshop. This one also caused a lot of controversy back in 2011 when the singer posed on the cover of Rolling Stone magazine. After the magazine came out, the original photos got leaked online and showed the drastic difference between the two. Fans were quick to point out how they slimmed her thigh, plumped her breasts, smoothed all over her skin, and even gave her a different right hand. Fans and even celebrities started posting their thoughts online, expressing that the changes were so unnecessary and that it only causes more damage than good to do that. Like just show us the celebrity for what they are. Well, I feel like these magazine covers think we're gonna like not buy the magazine if her breast looks smaller and if she had a weird right hand. Like what? Here, it's Katy Perry. I'm just buying it because it's Katy Perry. I don't give a f 
what she looks like. Winning the number one place is Khloe Kardashian. Now, I remember covering this story when it first happened and I could not help but laugh at just how ridiculous it was. Khloe is beautiful, but no matter how gorgeous she is, it seems like I will not convince her not to edit her photos. She showed off her new hair color in an Instagram post, but fans could only focus on how different her face looked. People commented on it saying she gave herself an entirely new face and they're not wrong. But the worst part was one of the interviews from Keeping Up With The Kardashian aired that same day, showing how different she looked in real life compared to the picture that she posted online. Everyone knows that if you're on TV, people are going to see what you look like beyond your social media posts. So people just couldn't understand why she would alter her appearance so much. She doesn't need to, she's so freaking pretty. Starting slot at number 10 is James Charles. James is known for many things, but one thing his fans love is his sister's apparel collection that he started and became a huge success. Recently, James announced that he had a new collection coming out in his line and posted some photos of what fans can look forward to. His collection is all color blocking style with different pastel colors. Everyone was very excited to get their hands on it until James was exposed by H3H3 online when they called him out and said that they designed it first and that he is taking their exact merch and throwing his label on it. Keila Klein posted some behind the scene photos from 2017 of her sketch of the design that James is using and feared that people would think that he designed it, not her. James responded online saying that he actually DM'd them a photo that inspired his collection and said that he never even saw their brand before, which is a very big insult, <laughs> but hey. Up next, number nine is David Guetta. A lot of celebrities used their platforms to show their support for the Black Lives Matter movement. But David Guetta's support wasn't taken very well after he did a remix of Martin Luther King's speech, I Have a Dream. He said he made the remix in honor of George Floyd and wanted it to be a tribute to him to hopefully see more unity and peace in the world. People were furious and started to expose him online for what they said was creating more racism. Someone shared a video of him performing the remix and wrote, we found it, the whitest way to react to racism. Other people said they don't think George Floyd would have wanted him to put an EDM track behind an iconic speech like that. But he did have good intentions with the live stream performance that he was doing. It was actually meant to raise donations for the cause. Unfortunately, people could not get behind the remix track and had to share it all over social media. Making her way into number eight is Kourtney Kardashian. She's been getting a lot of criticism online for her friendship with the TikTok star Addison Rae. People started noticing that they were spending a lot of time together when Addison posted TikToks with her and then Courtney was uploading Instagram photos of them in bikinis in her pool. At first, people didn't really think anything of it, probably because they didn't realize the age gap between them. But then fans started commenting on her Instagram posts, pointing out that Courtney is 41 years old and Addison is 19. People started referring to their friendship as weird and didn't understand like what they could possibly have in common. Someone even pointed out that Addison is actually closer to the age of Courtney's oldest son than she is with her. Courtney is not bothered by all the hate she's getting though and neither is Addison. They continue to hang out and create content together pretty much every day. Signing to number seven is Justin Bieber. There was a point when he was getting called out on Instagram to a point where he actually threatened to private his account so that fans could not see it. It was back in 2016 when he was posting pictures with his new girlfriend, Sophia Ritchie. Fans of his ex, Selena Gomez, began to criticize his new relationship and he had enough of it. He posted a black and white photo of them and captioned it, I'm gonna make my Instagram private if you guys don't stop the hate. This is getting out of hand. If you guys are really fans, you wouldn't be so mean to people that I like. But Salima chimed in quickly and called him out for posting it in the first place. She commented on their picture saying, if you can't handle it, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, lol. Don't be mad at your fans, they love you and supported you before anyone ever did. Justin then fought back and accused Selena of using him for attention and fame. So they both kind of like tried to expose each other with all this like petty drama, but didn't really get anywhere. 
and he did not private his Instagram, I don't think. Tonight in the number six spot is Dylan Sprouse. He also got into some Instagram relationship drama with his former girlfriend, Dana Fraser. Fans were shocked back in 2017 when she posted a selfie on Instagram where she appeared to be crying and captioned it, when you find out your boyfriend cheated on you, lol. Fans were quick to realize that she was not kidding because she actually deleted all their photos together on her page. She wasn't the only one though, he also deleted their pictures together. But he stayed silent on the cheating matter for a few days until he broke his silence on it. He ended up posting a statement saying, I will say this and only this. By adhering to an assumption based on limited information, you neglect the complicated nature of this issue. The truth always has two sides and those sides have motivations and those motivations despite how cloudly they currently seem are private. Honestly, that just sounds like a good way of saying I cheated and I justify my reasoning for it. Halfway through list number five is Nick Young. He was once engaged to Azalea Banks, but they called it quits before even getting to the altar back in 2016. Fans were shocked and very confused following the news that they split up, but Azalea went online and exposed the pro basketball player for the real reason as to why they broke up. She went online and wrote, I broke up with Nick because I found out he had brought other women into our home while I was away and caught them on the security footage. <gasps> I'll be damned. By this point, rumors were already going around that they broke up because he had cheated on her with his former girlfriend and mother to his son, Kiana Green. So Azalea shut the rumors down and confirmed that yes, he did cheat on her, but not with his ex. It was with um, random girls. However, shockingly enough, Kiana and Nick welcomed their second child together just a few months after this cheating scandal. So if you do the math, he was cheating on her with his ex. Azalea said she never knew that Kiana was even pregnant and that it was like being shot in the chest when she found out. Making his way into number four is Kevin Hart. Back in August 2017, Aniko Parrish was expecting her first child with Kevin, but caused some online drama when she wrote on Instagram that they had been together for the past eight years. Fans were quick to point out the fact that Kevin and his ex-wife Tori got divorced six years ago, so that would only be true if he was cheating on her. Aniko and Tori start going back and forth with each other in the comments, which have now been deleted, unfortunately. Let's just say that Tori's comments fueled the cheating rumors and fans were convinced that Kevin had been cheating on her for years when they were married. He never actually addressed the claims head on, so we didn't get the final answer to the question at the time, but he did post a series of Instagram stories where he said, this will act as nothing but material for your boy, which is not surprising because he later joked about his cheating past in his stand-up comedy sketches. He actually does it very often. Taking over to the third spot is Black China. If you followed her relationship with Rob Kardashian, you would know just how toxic it was. Instagram got a good look at it back in June 2017 when Rob started exposing her online after they had split. He went on Instagram and blasted her in a series of extremely graphic and expletive written posts which have mostly been deleted. But in his posts, he accused her of cheating. He posted a video of her kissing another man and said, ha ha ha, China just sent me this video saying happy 4th of July, what a crazy person, come spend time with your daughter. If you don't know, the very toxic couple have a little girl together. Rob also went too far and posted China's nude photos that she once sent him when they were together. Things actually got so out of line and chaotic that Black China filed a restraining order against him. In spot number two is Ellen DeGeneres. After months of being criticized online and an investigation being done on her talk show workplace, she returned to her show with an apology in her opening monologue. People were wondering if she was going to return for season 18 or if her show was going to be canceled, but they quickly learned she was back when she posted her monologue to her Instagram page. The video was her apology about the different accusations of mistreatment in her workplace and her not being as kind as they say that she is on TV. But her apology did not get good reviews and instead she was slammed for it, some people even coming out with more accusations. People began commenting on her apology Instagram post exposing her for treating people poorly at restaurants, mistreating fans who met her, mistreating people who used to work for her, just a variety of different claims. She has yet to address any of the new ones and to be honest, she probably won't. 
I don't think she's gonna talk about it ever again. Winning the number one place is Chris Evan, but this probably is a first place prize that he might wish he did not win. I don't think we will ever forget, actually this happened recently, so you might not even know, the time when he exposed himself on Instagram and left the world in total shock. When I say he exposed himself, he literally exposed himself. Somehow the actor accidentally posted nude photos of himself even though they were quickly deleted people had already taken screenshots and started spreading them online his explicit photo ended up becoming a trending twitter topic so how does this happen chris was posting videos to his instagram story of him playing the game heads up with some of his friends and literally moments later when you tap through the story um his story just featured these intimate pictures um that he probably didn't mean to put on his story he handled the scandal as best as he could probably mortified but thanked his fans for support throughout it he also encouraged people to have the same privacy and respect towards women since people agreed to stop sharing the photo and keep it private since it was meant to be private. But I wanna know who he was sending that to. In at number 10, Kanye West. West received a 24 hour suspension from Instagram after he called the Daily Show host Trevor Noah a racial slur. During an episode of the show, Noah took aim at West, calling him out for berating his ex Kim Kardashian on Instagram, as well as making the track easy referring to Pete. Noah said, quote, what she's going through is terrifying to watch. What we're seeing is one of the most powerful, one of the most richest women in the world, unable to get her ex to stop texting her, to stop chasing after her, to stop harassing her. Adding that this is clearly not for publicity as Kim has almost never responded to the constant rants by Kanye. Kanye did not like this and fired back at Noah on Instagram, calling him a racial slur. A spokesperson for Meta Platforms, the company that owns Instagram, told TMZ the suspension occurred because Wes violated the company's policy on hate speech, bullying, and harassment. In at number nine, Rihanna. Rihanna is known to get pretty shady on Instagram. She's used the platform on many occasions to clap back at haters and share her true feelings with the world. Since she is so open on the platform, it's not hard to believe that she was once temporarily banned. In 2014, Rihanna was hit with a suspension after she posted a photo from a shoot she did for French magazine Liu. This post apparently included a photo of her butt, which is not allowed on Instagram. The ban lasted several days, and during this time, users who clicked on her page were hit with a page not found error. But after a ton of outrage from Rihanna and her fans, Instagram revealed the whole thing was a mistake and her account was restored. An Instagram spokesperson said Rihanna was, quote, mistakenly caught in one of our automated systems and very briefly disabled. And at number eight, Wiley. British rapper Wiley got his account permanently banned from Instagram after he went on multiple anti-Semitic tirades. Hate speech is one of the protected groups on social media sites like Instagram, and anything that's deemed as hate speech will get accounts permanently banned. The rapper was kicked off Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube for using the platforms to share messages of hate against Jewish people. At first, Instagram only gave him a temporary suspension. As a pushback, the community was outraged and staged a 48-hour Instagram boycott because of the decision. After this, Instagram decided to take things more seriously and permanently ban him. After getting banned from Instagram, he tried to transition to Facebook and continue to post anti-Jewish content on that platform. He was quickly banned from there as well. In at number 7, Grace Coddington. Vogue's former creative director Grace Coddington is well respected in the industry, so it might be a shock to learn that she was banned from Instagram for being indecent. She hardly posts on Instagram to begin with, so crazy enough a nude cartoon drawing she posted to Instagram is what got her banned. According to The Independent, she was temporarily suspended in 2014 after posting a nude cartoon self-portrait. The post hardly included any detail and was only posted to promote an auction that featured some of her favorite nude photographs. Since this cartoon did feature nipples as small dots, that was enough for Instagram to count it as indecent nudity, and it was taken down. Since this was a ridiculous ban, Instagram decided to reinstate the account shortly after this ban and admitted they made a mistake. So people watching, really be careful what you're posting, even cartoon nudity could be too much. In at number 6, Madonna. Madonna is no stranger to posting risky content online. She's gotten in trouble many times in the past for her racy posts, and photos have been taken down off her account for violating community guidelines. The most recent case of this happened in 2021, when she posted a series of photos to the platform that showed off too much of her breast. Madonna reshared the images with emojis covering the controversial parts, and shared in the caption that the images were removed by Instagram because they violated their terms. Madonna said the originals had been removed, quote, without warning or notification, and that Instagram had told her management it was because, quote, a small portion of a restricted body part was shown. Madonna commented on the situation, writing, quote, It's still astounding to me that we live in a culture that allows every inch of a woman's body to be shown, except a nipple, pointing out the clear double standard between men and women. Halfway at number five, Rob Kardashian. 
This is a time when a ban from Instagram was completely justified. Back in 2017, Rob Kardashian posted intimate photos of his ex fiance Black China, after they got in a fight. This of course goes against Instagram's policy and is illegal, so this got him in a ton of hot water. His account was banned for months, and his Instagram account is now run by Jenner Communications, not Rob himself. This might have been the only way Instagram would agree to let him have an account again. In at number 4, Scout Willis Scout Willis is another celebrity that got in trouble with Instagram for posting a picture the platform did not deem appropriate. Scout posted a photo of a sweatshirt to Instagram, but the issue was that the clothing item showed two topless women on the front. Willis argued the decision was sexist because men are allowed to show their chests on Instagram. In protest of these rules, she took a stand and decided to put on a protest. She decided to walk around New York City topless and posted a photo on Twitter with the caption, quote, legal in NYC but not on Instagram. She was temporarily banned from the platform as a result. The CEO of Instagram told BBC News that the rules are the same for both celebrities and users to make sure the site is appropriate for both teens and adults. In at number 3, Anya Rubik This is yet another case of Instagram fearing female nudity. The supermodel's business page was abruptly banned after it posted multiple images of a model walking in a fashion runway show, and in the photos the model's breast was slightly visible. The magazine called 25 was kicked off without warning, and Rubik took to other platforms to share how upset she was with this decision. When speaking about the ban, Rubik said, quote, I think this whole thing is ridiculous. It's like saying to the world that a woman's body is offensive. You can't show a body part behind a sheer shirt. Anya fought back hard against the ruling and shared her distaste in multiple interviews after the fact. In at number 2, Chelsea Handler This one is not a shock because Chelsea loves to push the envelope. One time it got her banned from Instagram. Chelsea wanted to replicate the infamous photo of Russian President Vladimir Putin riding topless on a horse, so she posted a side by side on Instagram, including her bare chest, which we know Instagram does not like. She captioned this photo, quote, Anything a man can do, a woman has the right to do better. After she posted this photo, she of course got banned for breaking their terms of service. After the photo was taken off Instagram, she posted to Twitter saying, quote, You can now find my dogs and my breasts on Twitter only, where my followers have the right to choose what they say. Bye bye, Instablock. And finally, number one, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus is a huge supporter of free expression. That's why in 2014, she put her support behind the Free the Nipple movement that was popularized at that time. A large part of this movement was the double standard between men and women. Men are allowed to be topless on the app, but women's photos will be removed if they show their nipple or too much skin in general. In 2014, Miley posted an artsy photo in support of this movement, showing off her chest in the picture. Instagram immediately removed this photo for violating their terms. After having such a difficult time with the platform, she decided to take herself off the platform in 2018. However, she got back on Instagram shortly after, and in 2019, posted another risky selfie of herself in a see-through top where you could see that her nipples were exposed. She captioned this photo, quote, I'm getting more basic by the day. The only thing the new me loves more than a mere selfie is a self-timed one. P.S. This is getting removed soon. I've been warmed by the Graham gods. After the post was allowed to stay up on the platform, Miley added to the caption, quote, PPS, I effing love you, Instagram. Thank you for standing the nips. Respect. Starting off our list at number 10 is Bow Wow. It is probably not that surprising to learn that some celebrities pretend to have more money and fame than they really do. Bow Wow was one of these celebrities, but he got caught in his lie on social media. It all started when he posted a picture to his Instagram showing his fans that he was traveling by a private plane. He posted a picture of the jet and captioned it Travel Day, New York City press run for growing up hip hop. Let's go. I promise to bring y'all the hottest show ever. It seemed legit until someone snapchatted a photo of him sharing the same flight as them sitting in economy class. The user shared the image all over social media and people ripped on him for lying about it. They didn't care that he was a celebrity flying in economy class, they cared that he lied about it. Honestly, they probably would have liked him more if he was just honest about it. I think it would be really cool and respectable if I saw a celebrity flying in economy class. That's it's humble. Coming up next is Noah Cyrus. The singer caused a stir online in December 2020 after using a racially offensive word on her Instagram story, but then lied about it afterwards. Well, people think she was lying, she denied it. She was defending Harry Styles in one of her Instagram stories and wrote, He wears this dress better than any of you. She was defending Harry because he wore a dress on the cover of Vogue and then faced a ton of backlash for it. While we can respect that she was sticking up for her friend, people were not thrilled with her choice of wording. After she took the heat, she apologized on Instagram and said she didn't know that the word was a derogatory term and said she thought it meant 
tired. She explained that she didn't know the history of the word and did not mean to offend anyone. Do you believe her? Or do you think she's lying? I like no stars, but I have a hard time believing you thought the word be meant tired. Making his way into number eight is Soldier Boy. We'd be lying if we didn't admit that social media is a place for people to brag about their lives and their achievements. Instagram is pretty much a highlight reel of good moments from someone's life. So Soldier Boy bragging about how rich he is isn't all that surprising. What people were surprised about is the fact that he was lying about it. In 2014, he posted a picture on his Instagram of him holding up stacks of money that looked like $100 bills. At first glance, you might have seen the picture and not thought anything of it, but people online pointed out that the paper behind the first bill is all just stacks of white blank paper. All the stacks of cash say that they are worth $10,000, but people were not buying it. After he was called out, he covered up by saying that the money was a prop for a music video and that he just took a picture of it. Cruising into number seven is Bella Thorne. If you missed all the drama last year with Bella and OnlyFans, let me explain. The actress joined the app and started breaking records for how much money she was making on the app. But then people revealed she was not following their policies and was overcharging fans for photos. Bella ended up apologizing on Instagram and said she didn't know the rules and that she only joined OnlyFans in the first place to do research for an upcoming movie with director Sean Baker. But then he came forward with a statement and called her out for lying. He released a statement saying, I would like to make it clear that the news of me making a film about OnlyFans and using using Bella Thorne as research is false. Bella swears her intentions were to help the sex working industry, not hurt it, but some people were not convinced. I think that's a pretty lame excuse. Up next, number six is Jake Paul. He is known for his rowdy behavior, so anytime one of his crazy sons ends up online, it's really no surprise. But one of his more recent sons seemed to be incredibly unnecessary and immature. Jake posted a video on Instagram showing him and his team driving by Dylan Danis during a street interview and chucking toilet paper rolls at him from their pickup truck. Dylan ended up chasing after the truck and it was this whole brawl between them online afterwards. But then a new video clip surfaced from different angles of the alleged toilet paper attack and it looked like the entire thing was staged. Honestly, it looked so fake. People started calling him out for lying and said the whole thing was planned out to be this like publicity stunt for both of them. Halfway through our list at number five is Khloe Kardashian. This one is honestly so ridiculous. It's not something worth lying about in the first place. It was a big debate on whether or not she was lying, so you're gonna have to be the judge on this one. Back in 2015, she uploaded a picture on her Instagram showing different desserts that she claimed to have baked for Thanksgiving. In her caption, she wrote how she was proud of herself and said she set up her tripod and filmed her baking session in the kitchen. People believed her because she said the videos would be up on her app soon, along with the different recipes. So that's a big lie. But but then some truth came out and a bakery owner called her out and said the baked goods in the photo came from her bakery. The owner was from an LA bakery called Sweet Lady Jane who also had the same baked goods on her page. Fans were very disappointed because there was actually no proof that she baked them. They did not see these videos, but maybe she modeled hers to look like that girl's baked goods. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? In spot number four, we have Tana Mojo. Let's be honest, she is basically the queen of Photoshop. And the only reason I can say that so bluntly is because she openly jokes about it all the time, calling herself the queen of Facetune. Like a lot of other influencers, she often gets criticized for heavily editing her photos. One picture in particular sparked a huge controversy after she posted a bikini shot to her Instagram. But then behind the scene videos and pictures surfaced from the same beach photo shoot and show Tana looking completely different. Not bad by any means, but you could just very much see how drastic the changes were on her body in the picture that she posted. At first, some people defended her and said people were photoshopping these behind the scene pictures and videos to make her look worse. But Tana has admitted to this incident ever since then and said it was one of the worst editing fails she's ever had. Cruising into number three, we have Max Eric. Demi Lovato fans were not letting him get off easy with this one. The Young and the Restless actor was known as Demi's fiance for a little while, but then they split and he did not handle it the way she had hoped. They seemed like the perfect couple, but then screenshots surfaced showing old messages he had sent to Demi's friend, Selena Gomez. The messages were sent before he got with Demi two years ago. 
though. But in the messages, you could see he had a huge like fangirl stalker crush on Selena. And he even posted a tweet that said Selena was prettier than Demi. That's awkward. We're not sure if that is the reason as to why they split, but we're thinking that that has a big part of it. After all of it came to surface, he denied everything on Instagram and went on a live stream to say that he was way over Demi and did not care, blah, 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 you know, the whole speech. But reports exposed him and showed that Demi actually had to get a lawyer involved because he would not stop contacting her and her family members. So he very much did care. Up next, number two, we have Francesca Ferrargo and Haley Cure. Now I am putting both of them together because I honestly don't know who is telling the truth right now because the whole situation is playing out right now. The two hot to handle stars were the best of friends, but then Haley went to Francesca's ex fling, Tana Mojo, and said that she tested positive during COVID and continued to go out and party. Francesca's ex, Harry Jowsey, leaked Haley's messages online, and that is when everything got really messy. The internet started attacking Francesca, calling her horrible things and trying to cancel her career. Then Francesca shared her side of the story on Instagram and said she was irresponsible for traveling during COVID. COVID, but that when she tested positive, she stayed in for her 10 day quarantine. She even shared some screenshots to prove her side was true. So honestly, it's really hard to know who is the one technically lying on Instagram because they have both posted screenshots. So we all know who to believe. Um, we're just gonna have to wait and see how this plays out. Coming into number one is Oprah Winfrey. Okay, technically this one happened on Twitter and then it got moved to Instagram. So I'm gonna let this one slide because it is too funny not to share. She is one of the most influential influential women of all time. So it's not surprising that companies are dying to work with her and to get her to promote their stuff. The majority of the time she endorses brands in a very mature manner, but one time she really screwed up and it was hilarious. It started back in 2012 when she tweeted her thoughts on the Microsoft surface saying, gotta say, love that surface have bought 12 already for Christmas gifts, hashtag favorite things. But the thing is she tweeted from her iPhone and it showed in her tweet, which just proved that she was using an Apple product. So how much did she really like the Surface? Her fans called her out for it. One user replied and said, how much more would Microsoft have to pay you to get you to post that tweet from a Surface instead of an iPad? The original post got deleted after that, which makes sense since the two products are in direct competition with each other. Beginning list at number 10 is Heidi Klum. Many people would agree that she has been hashtag blessed when it comes to her look. I mean, I personally hope I look as good as she does at 46. She is a full-time mom, TV personality, a fashion designer, and model, which is why it was so bizarre when she got caught lying about her shape on Instagram. Apparently, the beautiful bombshell felt she needed to retouch a picture of herself from the Emmys. People exposed her for lying because the original paparazzi photo surfaced online, and in comparison to the one that she posted, it showed that her waist was trimmed down and her hips were made wider, creating a more hourglass shape. No one really understood why, seeing as the original was stunning anyways. Like she's literally perfect. Up next at number nine is Manti Teo. The Notre Dame linebacker had been posting all over social media about his online girlfriend named Lene Keikoa. He started dating her online, but never had the chance to actually meet her because he was so busy with his football career. But in 2012, he announced that his long distance girlfriend had died from leukemia. But then reporters tried to look her up and found out that she never actually existed. Once he was busted for lying, he started telling people that his friend made up the fake account and that he was a victim of a catfishing scheme. Allegedly, his friend confessed his love for him and in order to protect his reputation, he told everyone that she died of cancer. There's no confirmation on whether that is true or not, but regardless, you literally could have just said that you guys broke up. Like why did she have to die of fake cancer? It's a little twisted. Swiping the number eight spot is Kylie Jenner. No one could ever convince us that she didn't get her lips filled, but there was a time when she was lying about it. Although she is more than open about it now, there was once a time when she didn't want people to know that she was editing her lips, drawing them in thicker, and then later getting them filled. One time she was busted for lying after she posted a picture to Instagram with her lips looking very full. But then later that day, people started posting a photo taken by the paparazzi on the same day, and you can see a noticeable difference. 
It looks like a combination of lighting, editing, lip liner, just a lot of altering overall. Down the road though, she did open up about her insecurity about her lips and admitting to, and admitted to getting the filler, which we already knew. In spot number seven is Elizabeth Chambers. We've talked about people who edit their own photos before posting them on social media, but what about when you edit someone else's picture? Elizabeth started getting some hate after she posted pictures where it appears that she edited her own husband's nose. Her husband, Army Hammer, posted a photo to his Instagram account that looked raw and unedited, like a normal nose. Later on, Elizabeth posted the same photo on her Instagram account, but with a filter and also a fake nose job to her husband. I mean, clearly he didn't have an issue with his nose when he posted the same picture, but it comes off like she had to Photoshop him before sharing the picture to her own page. Cruising into the number six spot is Farah Abraham. The Teen Mom star got called out for lying on social media by her own daughter, 11 year old Sophia. In 2019, Farah did a live stream on her Instagram and started to speak about Sophia's acting class. Farrah told her viewers that Sophia was pretending to be shy about the new acting thing and that she got called out during her class. But Sophia was not having it and clapped back immediately. She chimed in on the live stream and told Farrah's viewers that she did not get called out during her acting class. She said, you just like to lie on social media and you like to gossip about me on live all the time. Nothing like getting called out by your own 11 year old daughter. Fair just laughed about it in the video and made a joke about how she is a gossip girl. We've made it to the halfway mark and we have Nelly. We often hear about people lying about their age. For some people, it can be a difficult thing to admit to. And one time, Nelly lied about his age so that he could be included on a magazine list of hotties. The rapper was once included on teen people's hottest stars under 25, which he reposted on his social media. But it was revealed that he was actually 28 years old at the time, and it was confirmed by pictures of his own birth certificate. Apparently, he just really wanted his spot on that list. You gotta do what you gotta do. Fake it till you make it. Rolling into the number four spot is Beyonce. I put the pop star in one of my similar lists for photoshopping her pictures and altering her body shape on social media. But this time I'm sharing a story where she apparently lied about one of her songs. News broke on the gram that she had claimed to be a singer songwriter who wrote her hit Irreplaceable. That is a banger, not gonna lie. But then the truth came out and it was revealed that Neo actually wrote the song and then gave it to Beyonce after deciding that it would better fit a female singer. And who would sing it better than her, right? Like good choice. He explained what happened and said, one song that I gave away and didn't want to, but it's actually a good thing that I did is Beyonce's Irreplaceable. I honestly wrote that song for myself, but that song taught me a very interesting lesson. A man singing it comes across a little bit misogynistic, a little bit mean, but he knew that it was a good song, so he passed it on to Beyonce, who apparently wanted to say that she wrote it. Coming to our third spot is Rita Ora. Girl's always looking fire, and many people have said she's one of the most stunning pop stars in the industry. But for some reason, she felt the need to retouch one of her photos before posting it on her Instagram. The gorgeous star shared a post to her Instagram account after performing at the Milano Gala. She rocked a bright red studded two-piece set and looked absolutely incredible. But it appears that she didn't think so because the original photos show just how much she facetuned and altered her body in the post. Why she felt like she had to Photoshop the original paparazzi photos is beyond us. You can see that she made her waist smaller and changed the lighting, but her abs are still very much real. So let's give her that. The thing that personally bugs me the most is that it looks like she altered her face. Her cheekbones and eyes look different and her fans were quick to point it out. And at number two is Lindsay Lohan. She had a lot of wild headlines throughout her career and a handful of times when she's been busted for lying on social media. But one time that's hard to forget is when the news broke on Instagram of her claiming that she was forced to handle the late Whitney Houston's body bag as part of her community service. May we never forget the time that she was arrested and put behind bars. But it wouldn't take long for people to realize that that was a lie. Despite this fact, the coroner's office publicly corrected her and explained that Whitney was never even in a body bag in the first place during all of that. 
what a strange lie. Winning the number one place on our list is James Frey. He was the best-selling author at one point in time for his novel, A Million Little Pieces. People fell in love with his book and it even landed on Oprah's successful book club reading list, which is a huge deal for a lot of authors. The book was originally sold as a memoir and that's how he promoted it all over his social media. Then it was later revealed that he had actually lied and that the story was actually fictional. The story was about a 23 year old alcoholic and drug abuser and how he copes with a 12 week rehab treatment. So it wasn't something to claim as your personal story if it actually wasn't your personal story. Oprah ended up kicking him out of her book club and he actually went on her show to publicly apologize to her, but also to all of his fans. Starting off at number 10, we have Kim Kardashian. Kim and Kylie were serving up some premium looks when they were shooting their promo for their fragrance collaboration. And it's hard to tell unless you're really looking, but if you zoom into their feet, you can see that Kim looks like she has six toes in this picture. And I just don't even understand why that would be the case. Like, were they trying to make one of her toes look smaller or something so they cut it in half? And even crazier is that that picture is still up to this day, even though tons of comments have pointed it out. But Kim ended up addressing this online because she got so many comments about it, with some people thinking that Kim actually had six toes and it wasn't a Photoshop build. So as a response, she posted some videos of her feet saying, quote, everyone thinks that I have six toes and it's really wild, while pointing to a bump to the side of her foot, saying, but it's this part of my foot that when I wear a shoe, it just looks like this, it just smashes down right there. Adding in this picture, I don't know why, it looks like a sixth toe. So I mean, at least she admits that the picture looks very strange, and whether it's bad Photoshop or not, I guess can be left to the uh, I have the beholder. Coming in at number nine, Khloe Kardashian. This is another one to do with extremities. Like, why do the Kardashian photoshoppers always seem to mess that up? But in this one, it's a picture of Khloe and she is heading out to a party at Diana Ross's house. But before she went, she decided to take some pictures of herself in front of a wall. But if you look closely at her fingers, you will see a big issue. On the left, it looks like she has two or three extra fingers or something. Then on the right, it looks like she's missing a finger or two. Again, I have no idea why anyone would want to photoshop their fingers, but clearly Chloe did and it was a massive fail. And at number eight, Ariana Grande. This is another one that I'm absolutely shocked is still up on Instagram. But I guess a lot of celebrities have better things to worry about. So Ariana posted this amazing picture of her looking beautiful as always. And when you first look at the picture, nothing too crazy pops out I bet. Well that's until you look closer at her hand. And then it's just all question marks because her hand literally looks stretched out to be like eight or nine inches or something. With her thumb looking the strangest, like I'm pretty sure it's double the length of a normal thumb, the post has comments turned off and I'm assuming that's because all of the comments were calling her out for her Photoshop fail. Again, I'm just so confused why her hand needed to be altered like that. Like it's supposed to make her look better. I don't get, like why are people Photoshopping hands and feet? Like, I don't know. In number seven, Kylie Jenner. This Photoshop fail is so bad. I remember the first time that I saw it and thinking there was no way that is her real butt. There's no way that that's what it really looks like. As we all know, the Kardashians are very proud of their behinds, but after looking through their Instagrams, a good portion of their voluptuous figures seem to be thanks to Photoshop. And that is so clearly the case in Kylie's photo. Like, I don't even know how to describe it, but it, it either looks pulled up or pulled down, and I literally don't think it's possible for an to be that big. Also, the way her waist is like pulled down in the middle, I don't know, it just looks very off to me. And as you can expect, a lot of the comments were calling out her strange shape and pointing that the pockets looked abnormally big. In at number six, Ali Brooke. The best part about a celebrity Photoshop fail is when the celebrity knows it's taken place and looks ridiculous. And that's exactly what happened with Ali Brooke from Fifth Harmony. And when she realized one of her photos was terribly photoshopped, she took to Instagram to poke some fun at it. With her writing in the caption, quote, when you're trying to look cute, even though you got two right feet. <laughs> and she not only posted a photo of the fail, but she zoomed in perfectly so everyone could see that she literally had two right feet in the picture. One is crossed over the other, so that's probably why it was missed. But still, like, how could an editor let that happen? But again, I have to ask, like, literally, how does that happen? <laughs> First, why do you need to edit or Photoshop her feet in the first place? And next, how is it possible to get to a place where you replace her real foot or leg with the other one? In number five, Selena Gomez's hair. The warp tool is a common Photoshop tactic used by many to exaggerate an area of the photo or in some cases to slim people down. 
That being said, it is also the easiest Photoshop fail to spot, and even Selena Gomez has been caught using this tool. When celebrity makeup artist Hung Van Gogh shared these pics of Selena Gomez while working on a secret project, fans started asking questions. However, it had nothing to do with this secret project, but more so they were wondering why the wall over her right shoulder was so severely warped. This tool, like I said, is usually only this visible if someone is trying to shrink their waist, arms, or have their hips widened. From the looks of it though, whomever edited this photo was trying to either make Selena's hair look less flat, or they were trying to shrink her head a little bit. So in at number four, John Mayer. Okay, this one is just insanity. It's so obvious that John Mayer really was abusing Photoshop on this one. Either that or he hasn't figured out how to turn off the beauty filter on his phone's camera. Sometimes you don't even need Photoshop to get a look like that. If it was done through Photoshop, then this is just a big fail. I mean, it's a failure either way because no one is fooled that his skin is that perfect, like, come on. I think the fact that his friend's face basically looks the same as his face is what's really, you know, turning the heads. The comment section was filled with people saying hilarious things too. One person said that they look like characters from the Polar Express, which definitely you know, hits the nail on the head. It's a great movie. I mean, they look like CGI people or Sims at the very, very least. Who knows though, maybe his friend was having you know, a really bad skin day and John just said, you know, don't worry, I'll get my Photoshop on it. Just relax, you know? But the smooth filter is a tough one, but you, you know, you can like put it down so it's not as like, Bam. <laughs> in number three, Zendaya. Now in a majority of these cases, if the photo wasn't posted to their personal Instagram, you know that whatever magazine they're working with will definitely be using Photoshop. However, one would hope that someone in that position of editing a cover or a photo for a shoot would do it properly at least. Unfortunately, that's not always the case. For Zendaya, she was very upset with Monolith Magazine after the publication released images of her, but they weren't what they had originally shot during her photo shoot. In response to this, Zendaya actually posted these side-by-side -side images and captioned the photo with, had a new shoot come out today and was shocked when I found my 19 year old hips and torso quite manipulated. These are the things that make women self-conscious, that create the unrealistic ideas of beauty that we have. Anyone who knows who I am knows I stand for honest and pure self-love. So I took it upon myself to release the real pic right side and I love it. Thank you Monolith Magazine for pulling down the images and fixing this retouch issue. And at number two, Beyonce. So before we get into the blender, I mean obviously Beyonce looked absolutely amazing in this photo so it makes it even more questionable why she would even choose to edit it in the first place. Honestly, she looked amazing. However, if you look at the staircase and you look at the about fifth or sixth step, looks a little sketchy. <laughs> it really looked like she was just trying to give herself a thigh gap or something, but you can tell the staircase is not straight. <laughs> or if that is what the real staircase looked like, I think Beyonce needs to consult a carpenter or, you know, somebody, because that is not, you know, not up to code, I can guarantee that. So yeah, this one, you know, it looks pretty obvious, unfortunately. Even though Beyonce is still the best, but girl, you gotta watch that Photoshop. <laughs> Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Lindsay Lohan. It's probably my favorite type of Photoshop fail when a celebrity actually talks about how they tried their best to crop something or edit a part of their photo. In this case of Lindsay Lohan, she had her followers dying of laughter when she posted this photo to her Instagram page and captioned it with, my feet look red, had to take that out. Only real red is my hair. It's possible that she thought mentioning the crop she did on the photo would distract people from the other Photoshop fails, but it didn't. If you look closely towards Lohan's back and where the door meets where she's standing in the photo, you can clearly spot that she was also abusing that warp tool. I mean, it's already an awkward looking photo, but with the door warped so much like that, it just makes it all the more strange. <laughs> 